Check this out. I just ordered the Kestrel Weather Spotter Kit. It has a Kestrel 5500 in it, two drops, a wind vane. I originally actually seen this advertised from a Josh Morgaman, you know, from iCyclone. He did a little collaboration with Kestrel and I was like, gotta have that uh, for a few reasons. One, I love weather stuff. Two, um, you know, working here in Florida, I want to get that all important, you know, graph that shows barometric pressure from various of locations when you have a landfalling tropical system. So, so very excited about this. Let's, uh, let's check it out. All right. So first, uh, came in, you know, shipped via UPS here. So I get that open. So, um, comes with a few things here. You got the case. Uh, with everything inside of it. I uh, did not know I was going to get this. Know your conditions. Wireless environmental data logger. All right. Oh, okay. Because so this is part of the app that comes with it. It is a free app. And uh, that way you can log all your data very easily from your phone. Some, uh, you know, packaging in here. But we can get that box out of the way. Here it is. The Kestrel Weather Spotter Kit. It says it right there. So um, let's open this bad boy up. Uh, first off, I mean, pretty legit kit here, or a little legit case, I should say here. Um, things hard, it's built to go into severe weather, so that's the good news there. Um, ooh, you gotta push the button in, gotta pop this open, and there we go. Nice. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. I see. Okay, so earlier I uh, said this was something, I wasn't sure what this was. This is the second drop I ordered. So I ordered two drops. Instead of putting the first one in here, the second one just came in a separate box. A little confused by that. I thought that would just be right in there. That makes sense since it just says Kestrel drop right on the front. Let's just take a look at this. So first off, you got the Kestrel 5500 right there. Records all the stuff. The Kestrel drop, another Kestrel drop. Here is the wind vane that this comes with. So you can put the caster on it, kind of sways in the, the wind. And um, yeah, I mean, check out this case. I mean, legit, it, uh, it's all sorts of, uh, it's built, it's built, it's ready to go. All right, uh, another thing I noticed, comes with the little holder for it right here. So you can put down the wind vane. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, first, let's, uh, let's try, oh, here. You gotta take out the little battery thing in the back. Castro 5500 battery, fully charged, excited. Uh, definitely need to set the time of the day because it does say January 1st, 1223 AM. So I'll get to that uh, here later. But uh, you know, this records all the good stuff. Barometric pressure, wind, temperature, dew point, basically, this is an ASOS or a, a, a legit weather station all built into, you know, the palm of your hand. But I mean, for example, let's uh, just, just set up wind speed real quick. Let's see if it works. There we go. Getting up to like, you know, 16, 17 miles per hour. I'm sure if we go to settings, oh, I just data stored it. I'm gonna have to go through and read through everything on here, but you can change the, uh, the, the the wind um units or all your units the metric imperial yada yada i'll probably switch this over to not maybe um it really depends but the big one is barometric pressure now the other thing i am curious about is the uh drop here as well before i can use the drop though we have to download the link app and i'll get to that in a second let's uh first let's go through some of the other hardware here um First off, let's open up this bad boy. There we go. This is cool. I'm excited about this because typically Kestrels are meant for like in your hand, you know, um, just kind of using out in the field. And you know the wind direction just because you're a human being and you're holding it in your hand and you should know which way the wind's blowing from. But let's say you want to, you're, you're out, you're filming or something like that, but you still want to get that accurate. Oh, I love this tripod. Check this out. Did you see how that opened up here just like that so it's like a stick I've never had a tripod open like that i know that sounds silly to say out loud but that's pretty that's pretty different that's that's neat that's different oh here we go so you have to attach this stuff to the top of it now for some reason it actually just snaps right into there like that and then you screw this in pretty simply almost oh there we go that's what it is okay bop 
that fell out. There was a little hole there, it kind of fell out, was hiding on me there. And then voila, there's your uh, your wind vane in case you want to log data with wind direction. And uh, oh, yeah, pretty cool. Cool guys, this is uh, this is legit. I like this. Oh my. All right, before I go any further though, I am gonna download the Link app here in just a moment, but, uh, and just start logging some data here to show you guys what it kind of looks like. Uh, reason why I'm doing this, I'm not sponsored by Kestro. I would love to be if Kestro likes this video, hey. Uh, but uh, it is because I, when I was looking up information on this, I really only saw like two videos, one from Josh Morgan, another from another YouTuber that really just kind of showed the basics of it. Uh, not too much into the details, but what I can tell you right now, based on everything I'm seeing, and like I said, I'm not sponsored by them by any means, but I've used Kestrel before. I know how good quality these bad boys are. This is the most expensive one I have ever bought. Um, never used the drops before, so I'm really curious how these are going to work out. But I can tell you the quality and everything built of this, because sometimes you get some flimsy stuff. Kestrel, this this is pretty, pretty heavy duty. Um, this does not look like it, it could break. Now I'm not gonna do test on it, I'm not gonna run over it or something with the car, but I can tell you right now, uh, this definitely will, uh, if you if you stick this out in a storm and just trying to get you know some wind or pressure, this doesn't do wind, but pressure, humidity, temperature measurements, which this does do, the, the D3, um, I think this is going to be just, just fine. Anyways, let's take a, a little look at the app here, why not? All right, so I got the app downloaded here now, and it says, you know, scan for devices. Let me see. Well, first off, I'm probably better if I turn this bad boy on. Okay, it says uh, the connect, or the it is ready to connect to my D3 right here. So let's go ahead. Never synced to it before. There we go. And pull up the dashboard. All right, cool. All right, oh, that's neat. All right, there we go. So we got our temperature 84.5 degrees there um uh, heat index at 91 because you can get the heat index since we have the temperature and the relative humidity which we also can get because of dew point and that's so cool we got the pressure too anyways all right so let's go back to devices let's see if we can set up uh this guy again maybe i should use the instructions that come with it to see where the bluetooth button is all right I guess one thing I do have a critique on, you know, I've been working at this app here for about five minutes. I connected the second Kestrel drop pretty simply, but it's just not very, I have to read the instructions a little bit more here because I got the Kestrel itself on and it's just not, it's not connecting to the app right away. <laughs> so it was something as simple as hitting the top right button here. And uh, I was reading in here, it says, go to s options and turn on your Bluetooth. Something as simple. So when you get it, the uh, the Bluetooth is not already on. It just saves battery, all that good stuff. That's fine. Uh, it just took me a hot second to uh, find it here. But it does look like I got it all set up now. So let's go back to the app. And hopefully, since blue, oh, there we go. It's already ready to connect. And now I got all three. I just took a two, few minutes here. This one a little bit longer because there's an extra button or two. Uh, so you have to go through the options. Just make sure you turn it on manually. But um, everything else looks pretty good. I like the app. I mean, using this just out in the field and be able to see it is great. But if you do want to like data log and everything, the app is great. And plus you can go through and just kind of adjust everything instead of having to fiddle with this. But this is perfect if you're just like out in the field and you want to get a quick look at the temperature or something like that or uh, all that. But if you want to do more, a little bit more intense. And then after that, you know, you can download the spreadsheets, the graphs and everything, which is what I 100% plan on doing with this. So very excited about this. My first impression, absolutely, absolutely love everything about it. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints. The the case is rock solid, sturdy, came with uh, batteries. It does take uh, AAA batteries and a little battery, uh, like watch batteries in these little guys. They last forever from everything I've seen with them. Uh, and yeah, this is, uh, this is a little sturdy guy. It comes with, you know, my only thing is if the wind does blow a little bit you're gonna have to strap this down somehow this is very very light 
So you're not like, you're not putting this out in a hurricane, guys. This is uh, good for if you just want to get like some measurements out uh, just on a typical weather day. But uh, don't be, don't be tossing because this thing weighs like, it is very light. <laughs> Let's just say that this is, this is going to blow. I mean, on the other hand, it is very light, but it, the way they design this, uh, it doesn't look like it can blow over. It's just that the wind gets up under it. It is going to get tossed. But, you know, that being light is the whole concept here, though. I mean, if this was something really heavy, it would ruin the whole idea of just having a ready-to-go, really quick measurement systems like this. So uh, I'm not going to hate on that uh, at all. It's built in a way that even a little bit of wind, though, isn't going to cause any problems. These things are cool, too. Box is cool. The only thing I had issues was was just finding the turning onto the Bluetooth, which once I figured it out, it was like two buttons. It was the top left button on here, and then you, you hit turn on Bluetooth, and then it automatically connected to the Link app, which took me like two seconds to download as well, and it's free. So uh, yeah, uh, I love I love this thing. Uh, it okay. So here's the deal. Uh, what I think. My final opinion on it, everything about this. I mean, once I get it out in the field and kind of work with it a little bit more, maybe I'll, I'll put an update video out on it. But uh, everything from first impression, great value. Here's the kicker. It is still not crazy cheap. You're getting a great value for what you get here. It's like if you buy a, a new car, a decent car, you're gonna spend some money with it, but maybe you get a good deal on it. Uh, the cakes here, you know, everything here, this added up with the shipping and taxes and all that. Uh, plus I got um, my name engraved on this bad boy, which, what? Hold on a second. Where it's supposed to be engraved on this? I paid for the engraving. Let's see. Okay. Well, um, that is very disappointing, and I am going to be uh, trying to contact Kestrel. I might have to end up sending these back because I did pay for an engraving, which was like another fifteen twenty dollars uh, for this. Uh, which uh, is supposed to have my name and phone number just in case I leave this somewhere and uh, you know there's a storm I can't get to it somebody picks it up they'll know who it belongs to it's not just like a little thing on the side of the road so um, it's an added thing that I thought would be cool but I could easily just put like a, a sticker on this or something like that so uh, take a look at it anyways that is the Kestrel uh, weather spotter kit pretty pretty cool stuff yeah all right can't wait to use it.